Taipei, the capital city of the island of 24 million people, is the heart and soul of Taiwan, displaying a great blend of cultures between Chinese, Japanese, and a little Southeast Asian and American, all mixed up in a way that's unlikely in any other city in the world. Taipei is a very contemporary city, yet it's also very affordable and accessible to all types of travelers. The city preserves its tradition while also adopting a joyful and colorful culture akin to that of Japan. The ideal blend of different cultures is what makes Taipei and Taiwan in general such an appealing tourist destination. Hi everyone, welcome to Travel Opulence. From exploring the city from Taipei 101 to jumping into new worlds at Vivaland VR, here are some things to see and do in Taipei. So let's get into it. Explore the city from Taipei 101. Taipei 101, one of the city's most recognizable structures, is a modern skyscraper in Taipei's Jinyi district. The Taipei 101, with 101 floors and a height of 509 meters, was the tallest skyscraper in the world in 2004 and held that record until the Burj Khalifa in Dubai was completed in 2010. Taipei 101 is now the world's 11th tallest structure and one of Taipei's most recognizable sites. You can take one of the fastest elevator journeys ever to the 89th floor, which should take approximately 30 seconds, and take in the breathtaking views of Taipei and its surroundings. On the 88th story, you can also observe the amazing Tuned Mass Damper, a 660 metric ton steel pendulum that sways to offset building motions induced by heavy winds. Drop in at the National Taiwan Museum. The National Taiwan Museum isn't just the city's oldest, but also the country's longest standing museum. Many museums in Taipei have been established in the last 50 years, situated in important historical buildings, but this one has always been a museum since it opened in 1908, even through wars and revolutions. Initially opened under Japanese administration, the museum was taken over by the Education Department after the Republic of China government was established in Taiwan in 1949. After several decades of building, its doors reopened in 1999. The building's outside is intriguing to tour and photograph because it was built in the manner of the Japanese colonial era in Taiwan. The entryway is flanked by massive columns that continue inside and reach the high ceilings. Visitors of the museum can follow the evolution and numerous splendors of Taiwanese culture, geography, flora, and fauna. Explore the interior and outdoor exhibitions to discover artifacts and learn about Taiwan's natural world and culture. Check out Longshan Temple Longshan Temple is a Chinese temple built in the 18th century by Fujian immigrants from the mainland of China who arrived on the island and built a temple. It's one of Taiwan's most popular temples and has come to represent the Taiwanese people's pride. The temple has undergone multiple reconstructions that have added to and improved the temple and its environs to what they are now. The temple is divided into three sections, the front, middle, and back rooms, all of which are richly decorated with poles adorned with exquisite dragon sculptures, intricate wooden carvings, and vivid murals. The temple also draws a large number of tourists every day because it's dedicated to the Taoist, Buddhist, and Confucian beliefs. It's one of Taipei's largest and most beautiful temples. Drink Pearl Milk Tea Boba tea. The boba tea craze is a fanatical craze that swept through Asia in the past decade, and it all originated in Taiwan, and you'll regret not trying the pearl milk tea at its birthplace. Pearl milk tea is a Taiwanese tea-based beverage made with tea, milk, and chewy tapioca balls, hence the name pearl bubble tea. There are numerous tastes and variations of pearl milk tea to choose from, and you should have no problem locating some pearl milk tea to test because it's all over Taiwan. Enjoy day tripping to Yaliyo Geo Park. The Yaliyo Geo Park is quite extraordinary, including some of the world's most noteworthy rock formations. Allow your imagination to run wild as you see the various rocks in various shapes and sizes that have evolved over time due to marine erosion. Some of these stones have spontaneously formed themselves into recognizable items and have been named as a result. Search for the kissing rocks, mushroom rock, the queen's head, fairy shoe, sea candles, dragon's head. You can also name the objects, animals, and people that your imagination conjures up among the eroded rockeries. Stop by the Taipei Fine Arts Museum. 
The Taipei Fine Arts Museum has the look of a modern gallery rather than a museum. It has a fascinating collection of contemporary art. Since 1983, visitors can wander through corridors decorated with artworks by local and international artists, and the museum's displays are periodically updated. If you prefer classics, the Taipei Fine Arts Museum has a collection of old Chinese paintings and relics dating back to the 19th century. The museum is divided into four levels to facilitate navigation. The first floor, when you enter, is dedicated to sculptural works and used for large-scale shows. Many historical works of art have been found on the second floor. Drink at one of Taipei's best rooftop bars. Looking for a cocktail or two with a view? One of the most romantic things to do in Taipei for couples is to end your day with a glass of vino or a specialty drink at one of the finest rooftop bars. Order a signature cocktail from Morton's Sky Bar and stay for the excellent atmosphere. It's a blend of sophisticated and cool. When night falls, the rooftop bar invites DJs, although they also occasionally open as a day club. As you go to the 45th story, Morton's Sky Bar is romantic and offers a direct view of the landmark Taipei 101 building. Morton's is a world-renowned steakhouse, so enjoy a glass of red and a well-cooked filet while you're there. The enormous outdoor rooftop organizes regular parties, and the vibe at this place is amazing, putting you in the perfect mood for a fun night out illuminated by neon lights. Enter Wanli UFO Village, if you dare. Do you enjoy haunting? Stop by the abandoned Wanli UFO Village in Wanli District on your route to Yeliu Geo Park. The village is now entirely deserted, but tourists come to see the strange UFO-shaped houses that have been left alone. No one knows why the houses were excavated, although they were erected in the 1960s by a Finnish architect named Mattis Seronen. He was well known for his Futuro and Venturo home designs, which may be seen here. Marvel at the architecture of the Taipei Music Center The Taipei Music Center is officially open after 10 years of construction, and the stunning geometric building is quite cool. The center's goal is to become a vibrant core art venue, with a primary focus on spotlighting the Asian pop music culture scene. Take a trip around the site in Nangan District in southeastern Taipei. From chat shows to operas, the concert hall accommodates both indoor and outdoor acts, a permanent display inside the seven-story cultural cube explores the history of pop music in Taiwan and its evolution in the country over time. The Creative Hub building was designed in a futuristic style to serve as an inspiring venue for musicians and artists. It has a recording studio, a cafe centered around music, a practice space, and music classrooms. Jump into new worlds at Vivaland VR have you ever attempted a virtual reality experience? Not only does Vivaland VR immerse you in a virtual reality world, but it also incorporates the exciting escape room adventures into its design. Choose from a VR escape room experience, a VR movie, or one of the virtual reality games. Choose to play in the free roaming zones for games like Hide and Seek, Wizard and Dragon, or Paranormal Hotel, which are divided into adventure, horror, competition, and esports. Candy Hero, Magic Night Party, and Fun Zoo are virtual reality zones specifically designed for teens, families, and children. Inside the VR sports arena, you can play baseball, tennis, ping pong, or archery, or you can test out their single-player 4D motion sitting experience. So what are your travel plans for Taipei? Let us know in the comments section below. So there you have it. If you enjoyed today's content, please make sure to like, subscribe, and click the notification bell so you don't miss out on any new videos. Until next time.